The DB Goodyear Developments, Daniel Trucking, Clay Purview, Australian champion. Doc Goodyear out of the racetrack right now. Had a shocker in qualifying last weekend. He will be aiming for a big improvement here. 12 0 2 8. Goodyear goes to third position. And the Aussie champ is up and about. Muscles the car right up against the concrete in three that time. That was close. Yeah, car feels a hell of a lot better tonight and we've put ourselves in a better position than what we did last time. Jock is a young kid and he is super fast right now. He's gone very quickly from being just an aggressive driver with a lot of speed to now a very calculated driver who can win the biggest races we have in here in Australia. If you go back to probably 10 years ago, I would have told you I'd never race any sort of road sport in my life. I never really had any interest in it, but now it's sort of, you get a bit of a taste for it and it's just something that you fall in love with. And yeah, you, now look at me, now you do it every every weekend that you can do it. Jock will motor to the top and will lead down into turn number three on the opening lap. Jock could you from position number four, puts down a belter of an opening lap. Oh God, I'm Jock Goodger, the reigning Australian Spring Car Champion. And Goodger leads with two to go. Jock Goodger, he's got one kilometre left to become the 2023 Australian Spring Car Champion. He's got Lockwood McHugh trying to chase him down, but he's only got one more to go. Motorplex, we're about to create some history. Jock Goodger comes into TD Ready Flights and Modular Homes Turn 1. The whole Jock Goodyear racing team is a young, tight-knit group between Jock, his girlfriend Haley, his buddy Lewis, crew chief Hayden, who raced with Paul Silver and Kyle Larson in the States, and the rest of the crew. They just travel around from Tasmania, the furthest away state in all of Australia, and travel and hit the biggest races and, and win. Uh, there's no bigger race than the Australian Spring Car Championship, which they won last year. Uh, yeah, it was definitely cool. Obviously one of my highlights of my career. Um, yeah, it feels cool to get that one, especially being such a big, prestigious race in Australia. To mark that sort of off pretty quick was sort of, yeah, really, yeah, it was awesome. It was just a credit to my team for what they'd done as well. And um, yeah, it's just cool to get that one done so early in the career. Australian Spring Car Racing has such a rich history and the talent right now is at an all-time high. We're pretty excited with um, what's sort of going on at the moment and a bit of a, been a bit of a transition stage for, for racing here and that's probably due to the fact that you know all these guys have been racing in the States so much and they come back here now and race and they've got their eye in and doing great things. The engine programs, the car, the equipment now in Australia is unreal isn't it? So um, we're lucky to see where that's going and there's so much emergence of so much young talent as well, which is very exciting for the sport. I have personally never seen a period where Australian sprint car racing has such a depth of talent and also at such a young age as well. There's guys like Lockie McHugh, Jock Goodyear, Brock Hallett, 
Ryan Newton, Jai Corbett, Marcus Dumsney. There's drivers from all over Australia that are so incredibly talented and they're so young that for the next 10 plus years, I have no idea who's going to dominate because they're all just so good and so promising at that age. What are our ranks? Uh, I love it really at the end of the day. Yeah, it's just a, it's sort of a, it breaks your life up a bit at the end of the day, I suppose. It, it's gonna be a fun, enjoyable moment every time that we do it. So if I'm not having fun, I don't really love it. So it's just sort of something that we're doing to have fun at the end of the day. And yeah, obviously, obviously we're going out there to race and take it serious, but yeah, if we're not having fun with it, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I, I don't know, yeah, I just live in Tasmania. Um, just in a nice little unit uh, with my partner. Um, work, yeah, Monday to Friday, usually, yeah, just working and just flying out every weekend, uh, whenever we can, obviously, throughout the season. Obviously, there is a bit of off-season, but, yeah, every race that we can do, just sort of fly in, fly out, and just uh, get the laps that we need to do. It's fun to watch and see how much he's grown over the years, and how he progresses each race. And, yeah, it's exciting to watch him. He definitely doesn't hold back. He smack down the wall each time but nah not really nervous at all kind of yeah it's exciting to watch kind of just keep the bands going trying not to get too serious trying to make sure we're still having a good time instead of just making it work making it still enjoyable so we go home every night and we're okay with having a good time yeah. Now, yeah. Now, as I said you previously it's sort of if I'm not having fun when I I'm not enjoying what I'm doing so yeah, it's been nights where I've lost races last corner and she's still trying to joke to me when we're driving out of the <laughs> racetrack. Oh, next time you'll get them. But take the piss out of me. Yeah, take the piss out of me, try and bring a smile. But yeah, as you said, we're going to have fun and if we're not doing that, it's not going good. Not only was the opening weekend at Toowoomba the start, the official start of the Australian sprint car season, but Toowoomba Speedway has really taken control of having the biggest event at the start of the Australian sprint car season. And this event, the Thunder on the Downs, was really the event where the most successful drivers based here in Australia and the most successful drivers who have traveled over to the USA have come together. Jock didn't race in the USA, so it was always going to be interesting to see how he fared up against the drivers like Ian Madsen or Jamie Veal and his friend Lockie McHugh, who have just come back from a big season racing at the biggest shows in America. And although Jock raced in Darwin and had a lot of success, the win to Jock Goodyear, taking out the final A main for the Jarrett to come to Toowoomba where we knew there was going to be a stellar field of cars, he was always going to find it tough. The Toowoomba Speedway is a young driver's track. It rewards a young driver's driving style because of the banking it has, the overall size of the track. You can't build up momentum and a young driver loves to stand on the gas and that's what you need uh, for that style of racetrack. It's got a wide turn one and two, and in three and four, it's real tight. So the slide jobs there can get pretty hairy. And uh, those young drivers that are in Queensland really uh, thrive on that sort of a racetrack. Beal and Gudja, we green. Jock fires to the bottom, Oldfield swings to the top. Still Jock leads. Gudja 
your leader gets the white flag. Down the back straight away for the final time. Goodja goes to the bottom, Oldfield goes upstairs and Goodja hangs on for heat number one. It's, yeah, it's progressing to what we want, so it'll be a very entertaining feature for you guys. Last week, it sort of got a little bit better, but yeah, sort of back to square one. Make a few changes. Yeah, obviously, you get off a better start than last time, so that was a good start. And um, yeah, just we're still in a pretty good spot here for this aim, and we'll just see what we can do. Thanks for coming out and joining us on behalf of everybody involved at High Tech Oils Toowoomba Speedway. We say thank you for coming out, braving the elements. Lights are out, Gav. Here we go. The tension builds as they roll down the back chute. And the time for talk is finally finished. The time to saddle up Toowoomba, because here we go. Fucking have any lads. Fun, eh? I was like hard on the brakes turning down all of those. Like like that far home from the arena, but I like cutting back on it. Felt like I had a car that could have still got it done. It was just when we got to that battle of the three, it was sort of whoever got the bright slide job at the right time, it was just sort of a yeah, they got away and then I sort of battled Lockie and that allowed Jamie to get away. But 
yeah, all in all, still consistent. We made some progress from what we did last time, so we'll roll tomorrow with uh, what we've learnt and we'll see what we do. Uh, yeah, Jock and I have had quite a few good battles over the over the, our career, and um, yeah, we always give each other enough space to do what we need to do, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun racing with each other. So um, yeah, it's definitely a highlight when we get to race like that. Lockie's obviously one of yeah my closest one of my closest mates, and it's just cool that you can still race each other with the respect, and still race each other hard, but still have the respect, and be able to race each other clean, and still put on a good show is the main thing. So. Yeah, it's just cool to be able to have that friendship with some of the drivers and yeah, that's the main thing. At the end of the day, we're still mates and we still want to race hard and we all want to win, but as long as we can do it clean, it sort of, yeah, makes it fun. It takes time to get this stuff right and um, we're getting there, so yeah, good confidence boost rolling tomorrow. Heat number one. Ten laps up on the board. Yellow light will go out. Time to go racing. Boy, Chuck Goodyear was quick to take the nose off the Valvoline number 47. Top two advance, they'll stay on the infield, make some necessary changes and tack onto the tail of tonight's Stars Dash. Short wall motor to the top. And will lead down to the turn number three on the opening lap. John Kodja from position number four. Puts down a belter of an opening lap. John Kodja will cross the line in first. Yeah, just going to make a couple of little adjustments and um, yeah, just go from there. Looks like Jock's ready to push. The Daniel Trucking Goodyear Development play per view. Australia one. Getting himself ready. Goodyear and Frost. Time to get it on. What an awesome feature race we're about to see. I really, I wanted to emphasize that I have no idea what we're about to see. I know it's gonna be a good race as it always it is here at Toowoomba. The grand final, the men's training and higher. Thunder on the down is underway. Oh boy. Yeah, trying to squeeze the most out of it, Ooh. just clips it. I mean, he got it pretty good, didn't it? Didn't he? Oh, just trying to get a little bit too much down the bottom and just collected that concrete wall, but yeah, obviously just trying a little bit too hard to make ground. And um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that Jai got caught up in that. Oh, it's just, yeah, it got, it was just racing around. I was just pretty, it was just pretty hooked up there and, um, yeah, changed the lines there and obviously just overshot it there into three and 
collected the concrete wall there with the left front and yeah <laughs> and as we know concrete don't really move so yeah obviously just knocked the front end out of it now uh, yeah a bit unfortunate to the ending to the, what we had um but yeah tweet and we think we found a couple of things by the mm. yeah we'll just roll on to the next one i think we're down south now for a bit um see what we can do mentally i'm probably glad to get out of here because it hasn't been that much of a great success up here so far but yeah i don't know you just sort of you don't really use your last races but how are you going to go the next night so I know we have the speed in this thing, it's just we've got to find the consistency to obviously put a night together again and um, find where we're struggling and how to get a bit more balance. So we'll, we'll work on it. I know the boys will work it out. And, um, yeah, we'll figure it out and yeah, get another one going. I'm always happy, mate. <laughs> no, every, any day you're alive, mate, is happy. We're on the Netflix. 